Hello everyone. Let's say you run a business and sell your items to your customers. First, you will send a document containing the items, their prices and their quantity. This is called a quote. Once your customer accepts the quote, you send a document requesting payment for the same. This document is called an invoice. Using Zoho Books with any of your iOS device, you can seamlessly create and send invoices to your customers from any part of the world. In this video, we will learn all about it. First, let's see how to create an invoice. Log in to Zoho Books account from your iOS device. Click Invoices at the bottom. Then click the plus icon at the top right corner. Select the customer for whom you want to raise this invoice. Add their billing and shipping addresses. Add their email address here. You can apply a price list if you wish. This will help you set customized rates for the items. Note that the price list field will be shown only if you enable it in the settings. Add your items here. You can also scan the SKU of the item to populate its details instead of adding it manually. To enable the SKU option, you will have to go to the web app of your organization. Go to Setting, Preferences, Items and click here. Click the drop down next to SKU and mark it as active and mandatory. Select the invoice date, select the payment terms here. The due date will be adjusted according to the items you choose. The invoice number is auto-generated. You can click the gear icon and disable auto-generation if you wish to enter the number manually. Enter the order number for any internal uses. Tap here to select the salesperson. If you have integrated with any of the online payment gateways, you will be able to see them here. Enable this option if you want to receive payments through this gateway. Enable this if you allow your customers to pay you partially. You can also add customer notes, terms and conditions, if any, and save the invoice. You have successfully created an invoice. You can also directly create an invoice from the Customers module. Go to the Customers module here. Click the customer for whom you want to create an invoice. Then click the More icon and select New Transaction. Next, click Invoice. You can enter the necessary details and save it. Once your customer accepts an estimate, you can convert it into an invoice. To do this, Click the More icon at the bottom right corner in the home page. Click Estimates under Sales. Go to an estimate accepted by your customer. Then click Convert to Invoice, verify all the details and click Save. There are various ways to record payments for the invoice in Zoho Books. Let's look at them one by one. Payment through Mail. After creating an invoice, you can mail them to your customer to initiate the payment. An email notification will be sent with the payment link attached. The customer can click the Pay Now button to make the payment. Payment through PDF Alternatively, you can also share the invoice as a PDF. If you have enabled receiving payments through online payment gateways for this customer, the PDF will have the payment link attached. The customer can click here to open the link and make the payment accordingly. Payment through private and public links You can also generate public or private links and share it to your customers through the medium of your choice like SMS or email and make payments. Payment through customer portal 
if you have enabled customer portal for your customers, they can go to the respective invoice, pay and track them under payments made. Recording offline payment. However, if your customer pays you offline, you can manually record the payment as well. To do so, click payments, then click view payments. Select the payment mode and the deposit to account and click save. The payment for the invoice is now recorded. Charging your customers manually. The payment for the invoice can also be collected by manually charging your customers using their card details. To manually charge your customer using their card details, go to the invoice for which you want to record payment, click payments and select charge customer. Now you can enter all the card details and click save to complete the payment. Let's look into the functions that can be performed upon an invoice. On clicking the mode icon, you can print the PDF and view attachments of the invoice. Select make recurring if you wish to make this invoice recur over a certain period. You can also create credit notes for the invoice, print delivery note and packaging slip from the invoice. Additionally, you will also be able to clone and delete the invoice. If you want to modify the invoice, click the edit icon to do so. You can also filter or sort the invoices according to your preferences on clicking this icon. To configure the settings for this invoice, click the more icon, go to settings and select invoice. You can now configure the details according to your business requirements and click save. You can also enjoy other iOS features in invoices. You can enable Siri in your device to instantly create and send them. After enabling, open Zoho Books. Click the more icon at the bottom right corner and select Siri shortcuts. Click the plus icon to add the shortcuts. So whenever you want to perform the desired action, you can use these shortcuts to do it instantly. Besides all this, you can also long press the invoice to view the details and perform functions. You can also customize and add widgets to your log screen. This way you can create invoices seamlessly. Similarly, you can also add widgets to your home screen and view your total receivables and stay up to date with your overdue and recent invoices. Need help keeping track of what you owe? Worry not! The dashboard gives you a comprehensive overview of the total receivables from your customer. You can also go to the reports module and keep track of your customers' balances and the AR aging summary details. And that brings us to the end of the video. We hope you've got a good understanding of how you can create an invoice and the various functions that can be performed upon it. If you have any queries, feel free to contact us at support plus mobile at the rate Thank you.